Good evening, people. Good evening. Daniel is over here. Hello, Daniel. Welcome. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, good evening. Rona, good evening. Daniel, good evening. Teresa, Edgar. Okay, good, good evening, good everyone. Evening. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. What's everything? Good evening, Gladys. Good morning. Good evening. <laughs> yeah, good evening. How's, it, how's everything, uh, Gladys? Hope you're okay. Claudia, good evening. Berenice, good evening. <laughs> Daniel, Teresa, and Edgar. Let me see, there's somebody. Ah, oh, Teresa said it's raining um, hard. Okay, Teresa, I hope that the rain stops. Okay, meanwhile, try to try to pay special attention. I will try to speak aloud and clearly, okay, so that you can listen to me very well. Okay, I have uh, nine people. Yeah. We are we are nine in the group now. So let us wait a little bit. How was your weekend? How was your weekend, people? Saturday and Sunday, how was it? Good, bad, kind of? Did you enjoy? Did you work? What did you do? <clears throat> what did you do during the weekend? Uh, Oscar says that he will be as Oscar. Okay, Oscar, so I got it. Uh, what did you do during the weekend, people? Did you go to church? Did you study English? Did you learn how to sing a song in English? Did you play the guitar? What did you do? I mean, how was your how was your weekend? Uh, Veronica, how was your weekend? I work in the weekend. You? I work in the weekend. My day off on Monday and, and Saturday. Ah, really? So you don't you 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 have to work on you have to work on Sunday and you have to work on Saturday. 
Yeah. Ah, okay. So that's that's interesting. Okay, like having ma so today you, uh, you, you, you didn't work. Yeah, I don't even like that. I work at home. Ah, yeah, when you work at home, yes, as as all the women, right, do. <laughs> yeah, all women work at, at home. Okay, Ronan, try to try to pay special attention. I saw your message. Well, welcome everybody. Do be the favor to activate your camera. Remember that's important. Okay, so today we're gonna see something in the in, in an exercise because I will let you know about the importance on, on body language, right? So when we speak, we make gestures, we um we 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 can notice when uh, you are paying attention, when you are working at home, when you are doing the exercises. So that is the importance of activating the acti the, 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 the camera, okay? So do me a favor to do so. I want to see cameras activated, please. Activate your camera, so that's important. Gladys, Daniel, Oscar, Teresa, Edgar, Claudia, Belen, Mario, Rona, Veraliz, do me a favor. Well, I will check the list of attendance. Meanwhile, you, you activate your camera. Okay, so Aidan. You said present, I'm here. So Aidan is not on here, so Aidan. Aidan, are you here? Thank you, Gladys, you're very kind. No, Aidan is not over here. So Aidan, absent so far, Belen. Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Uh, only, only listener because I driving uh, to my house. Okay, okay, very good. So be careful, Claudia, Claudia, Veronica. Uh, Daniel. Dina Maribel. Edgar? Present teacher. Okay, Edgar, thank you. Gladys? Present teacher. All right, Jonathan? Maria Elba? Eh, Mario Cristobal? Uh, yeah, Cristobal. Present teacher. Okay, Mario, good. Eh, Marta Berenice? I'm here. All right. Miguel Angel? Noé, uh, Miguel Ángel is over here, right? So Michael, and also Noé, right? And Norma Xiomara. All right, thank you, Norma. Oscar Antonio. Ronan. Present, present, Teresa. Thank you, Ronan. Teresa. Hi, teacher. Hi, Teresa. And... No, no escucho muy bien. All right, so try to try to uh, pay special attention because you know when it's raining, I know it's very difficult to to listen to. But try to be very concentrated. Use your headphones, okay? Adapt your headphones so that you you don't miss anything about the class. Vera Liz. Presente, teacher. All right, very good. So people who are not present yet, Adam. Claudia, Dina, Jonathan, Maria Elba, and Oscar. So I will check the list of attendance at the end. Don't worry, because you know that it's, let me see, people in the chat. Aidan is over here. Okay, Oscar Guevara also. Daniel is present. Daniel and Oscar. Give me a second, please. Daniel, Oscar, Aiden, and Michael. All right. So, 
Well, I, I hope everything's all right at home and I hope you have had a great weekend at home. Uh, well, as you know, Okay, so Claudia's, Claudia's message in the WhatsApp group and also the information that you are uh, sharing there. Well, uh, tonight, is, uh, we're going to start, you know, time to go so fast that this is a, the second, hey, this is the second week, right? So what, what are the activities that we have to, to accomplish this week? Activities we have to do this week that are extremely important. Well, uh, I would say this in Spanish, you know, uh, little by little, uh, classes are becoming full English, okay? But sometimes I tend to, to speak Spanish just to clarify something, okay? Something that uh, for sure it's um, necessary to, to switch to, to Spanish. Ok, bienvenidos, bienvenidas. Espero que todo esté bien con ustedes, que han pasado un feliz fin de semana. Solo me pasé al español. No me van a regañar, por favor, ya sé que no les gusta. Pero este, solo quiero aclarar algo respecto a esta semana. Esta semana es nuestra segunda semana en el curso de inglés básico 2. Eso implica que las actividades siempre le vamos a dar seguimiento en la En la plataforma y aparte de eso hay una actividad que se llama Midterm, que es la evaluación de medio de la mitad del curso, al, 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 a la mitad del curso, ¿ok? Ok, Michael, I got it. Así que, pues, por favor, ya vi, miren, este, con las acti actividades de la semana anterior, ya vi que todos cumplieron y en realidad los felicito, ¿ok? Eh, todos cumplieron y no solo cumplieron, sino que obtuvieron del 90% para arriba. Y eso está súper. Eh, esta semana vamos a continuar con, con lo mismo. Okay, actividades de la plataforma. Recuerden, se quedan registradas. Y el Midtown. Eso es sumamente importante. Al ah, tema de ahora, pues ustedes lo van a ver. Frequency Adverts. Siempre pues vamos a estar jugando con algunas situaciones ahí, con algunos ejercicios que ellos... Eh, tengo ya preparados y eh, los que todavía no están acostumbrados a activar la cámara, háganlo por favor, es sumamente necesario porque hay algo que se llama body language, que no es body language, es el lenguaje corporal y a mí pues realmente para nosotros es importante ver las diferentes reacciones que, que ustedes tienen en el curso cuando trabajan, que uno los puede estar monitoreando que están haciendo la actividad, pues que están concentrados. Eh, pues en mi caso, yo recomiendo los que no tienen, lo, los que este, tienen problemas, digamos, eh, porque en casa pasa mucho vehículo o que pues de repente este, hay interferencias este, cuando usted aporta algo en la clase, entonces este, o alguien aporta algo en la clase o el teacher está Este, eh, imaginemos que estuviera lloviendo acá, pues se nos hace bien difícil algunas veces que se nos escuche. Claro, si alguien tiene headphones, yo quisiera que los headphones son como más apropiados porque nos ayudan a, a reducir los sonidos que nos interfieren. Si no, pues no hay ningún problema. Si usted sabe que escucha claramente, pues otras personas pues tienen, uh, las, tienen speakers, tienen speakers cerca y como que lo conectan al Bluetooth y ya, pues ya se escucha súper claro. Esa es otra, otra opción. Yo cuando tengo problemas de audio, pues yo tengo una mi bocinita por ahí, la activo y ya, pues no tengo problemas con audio. ¿Ok? Son como tips para que eh, podamos solventar alguna situación ahí. 100% concentrados en la clase, sumamente importante. Vamos a iniciar. ¿Ok? En, you know. So as you see over here, we are in the platform, right? So this is the beginner or the basic English 
uh, module number two. There are uh, sections, right? So you know that the courses are divided into sections. Section one is over. So we did it. So we are just getting into section number two. What is the name of the unit, people? That we're going to start. Hello, hello. Are you there? Can somebody read the, the name of the unit? Ongoing activities at the workplace. All right. Ongoing activities at the workplace. So we're going to get into it. And we're going to start with the with the topics that we are in charge of uh, completing and working on today. So the topic for this uh, for tonight is: Can somebody help me, please? Hey, what happened to you during the weekend? But what happened to you during the, during the weekend? Algo sucedió el fin de semana. ¿Qué, qué, qué pasó? Cuéntenme. ¿Qué algo que me perdí yo? Que, que, lo, que, los, que los noto un poco diferente. Mm. How do you frequency adverse is the topic? Yes or no? Uh, Aníbal, where's the topic? Hello, Aníbal. Can you listen to me? Estoy buscando, teacher. La, la... <laughs> ah, it's because you are looking for the platform. Okay, se están, se están uniendo a la plataforma. All right. Okay, so how to use the frequency adverse is the topic for tonight. Okay, this is the, this is the topic number... Oh, sorry. This is the topic number one for the second week, right? So frequency adverse. Tonight, just before getting it, getting, just uh, before finishing the, the, the class, we are going to cover it. Now, listen carefully because, well, I will try to introduce the topic by having something over here. <laughs> now, what do you see over there, people? What do you see? What do you see? What is the name? We're going to, we're going to go over to a conversation, okay? So right now I'm not gonna share the link, okay? Because uh, we're gonna go over the, the expression we have here, the vocabulary, the pronunciation, etc. cetera. But, uh, well, I will read it by my own, the way, I, the way I know, and then we're gonna listen to it and then we're gonna see a video, okay? Hi, I'm George from Hawaii and I'm Crystal from America. And today's question is, how often do you check your email? So Krista, how often do you check your email? Well, before I used to never check my email, but oh my God, if you do not check your email, you get in a big, big trouble. Okay, why, what happened? What happened to you? I almost got kicked out of my own house before. It sounds awesome. So you, what happened? I haven't checked my email for months and they have been sending me like mm, this email saying, oh, you're gonna get kicked out and please remove your stuff from your house. Uh -huh. I, and I never got it till the last day when I was leaving the country. Interesting. A big lesson learned. You must check your email. How often do you check your email, George? Oh, I check it pretty often, but I just never really reply to anybody. You know, I probably reply maybe once every three months. Yeah, you never reply to me. Yeah, my, oh my bad, my bad. I'm sorry, all right. Okay, so that's a conversation, people. Esa es la conversación. Ya van a ver, hay un propósito de que solo estoy leyendo. No crean que solo el teacher a leer se puso. Uh -huh. Now, listen to the audio, please. Hoy lo vamos a escuchar. Give me a second. Ya. Yeah.
Listen carefully. Hi, I'm George read. from Hawaii. And I'm Crystal from America. And today's question is, how often do you check your email? So, Crystal, how often do you check your email? Well, before I used to never check my email, but oh my god, if you do not check your email, you get in big, big trouble. Why? What, what happened? What, I what happened almost to you? got kicked out of my own house before. That sounds I... awesome. <laughs> so, you, what happened? I haven't checked my email for months, mm -hmm. and they've been sending me like these emails saying, mm -hmm. oh, you're going to get kicked out, mm -hmm. and please remove your stuff from mm -hmm. your house. Uh -huh. And I never got it to like the last day when I was leaving the country. <laughs> uh, big lesson learned. You must check your email. <laughs> How um, often do you check your email, George? Oh, I, I check it pretty often, but I just never really reply to anybody. You know, uh, I, I probably reply maybe once every three months. Yeah, you never reply <laughs> yeah. to me. My, my bad, my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Okay. Ok, now listen to me carefully. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál fue mejor? Pero van a ser sinceros. ¿Cuál fue mejor? ¿Cuando leyó el teacher o cuando escucharon el audio? Sí, there's no trouble. I mean, teacher. Al fin. Thank you, Aniva. Thank you, Aniva. You're very kind. Ya me la, me la voy a creer, Aníbal. Thank you. ¿Qué, cómo, ¿Cuál de las dos versiones estuvo mejor? Es que hay un propósito que quiero que ustedes se den cuenta. Yo creo... Eh, okay. Good evening, Good evening Jonathan. La, bueno, una parte podría ser las, eh, las expresiones, la, la, la manera en la que ellos... Eh, o sea, eh, la lectura que ellos le dan o... De la manera, con los acentos y, y todos los tiempos y todo. Entonces Ajá. creo que es una diferencia. Como ellos son nativos, teacher, por eso es el... Yeah, hey, listen. But the, uh, thanks, Aníbal, and thanks, Jonathan. All right. Lo resumió en una palabra. Bueno, en dos palabras. <laughs> y es nativo. Yeah, that's right. That's, a, that's the way it is, right? And something that I, I wanted you to notice, algo que yo quería que notaran es que no es lo mismo ir leyendo. Hey, hi, you're, uh, uh, hi, I'm Joe from Hawaii and I'm Crystal from America. No, it is very when you listen to the expression and the way they pronounce it, and also when they use exclamation marks. Si ustedes se dan cuenta, no es lo mismo ir solo leyendo. Hi, hi uh, I'm George from Hawaii and I'm Crystal from. No, cuando la, lo, los nativos, que muy bien lo dijo Jonathan, hablan, lo hacen de manera natural. Ok. Y hablar de manera natural significa que utilizar bien entonación de pregunta. Utilizar bien um, signos de admiración. ¿Ok? So, imagínense, le dice, hey, te ganaste la lotería en inglés. Ah, ¿Será que así hablan ellos? O te ganaste la lotería ayer. Ah, no, ¿verdad? De manera natural, y te ganaste la lotería, viejo. <risa> ¿El qué? So, lo mismo sucede en inglés, guys. Es lo mismo. Por eso yo le puse la versión mía, todo apagada, luego la versión de los nativos, y ustedes se dieron cuenta que es diferente. Ahora, perdón que sí les quité cinco minutos en español, pero esto es sumamente importante. Ahora vamos a ver el video y se van a dar cuenta que no es lo mismo solo escuchar, sino que también utilizar el body language. Por eso me interesa que ustedes activen la cámara y se quiten el, el temor o la pena, no sé, eh, o algunos quizás son tímidos, no lo, no lo sé, pero es muy bueno que activemos nuestras cámaras. Miren, ya lo escuchó de parte del teacher, se gana el tercer lugar, el segundo lugar se lo, se lo sacaron eh, el audio mismo y el primer lugar, miren, ya van a ver qué diferente se ve ya con, con las expresiones faciales y todo. Okay, here we go. Hi, I'm George from Hawaii. And I'm Crystal from America. And today's question is, how often do you check your email? So, Crystal, how often do you check your email? Well, before I used to never check my email, but oh my God, if you do not check your email, you get in big, big trouble. Why? What, what happened? What, I what happened almost to you? got kicked out of my own house before. That sounds I... awesome. <laughs> so, what happened? 
I haven't checked my email for months, mm-hmm. and they've been sending me like these emails saying, mm-hmm. "Oh, you're gonna get kicked out, mm-hmm. and please remove your stuff from mm-hmm. your house." Uh-huh. And I never got it to like the last day when I was leaving the country. <laughs> Yes, yes. Uh, big lesson learned. You must check your email. <laughs> How um, often do you check your email, George? Oh, I, I check it pretty often, but I just never really reply to anybody. You uh, know, I, I probably reply maybe once every three months. Yeah, you never reply <laughs> yeah. to me. My, my bad, my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. So, how was it? How was it, people? So of course what's better, right? I think what's the best option, right? So because we could see the way they interact, okay? Uh, the way they speak and the way they pronounce, of course. So we can we can ha- we can learn a lot from this exercise. So hey, I will share the link so that you can see it. Okay, and you can have a review about it. And then uh, well, now we, we hear we hear the the information like three times. So I think we are more than ready to go over the... Give me a second. To go over the exercise. Yeah, so the link is over there. So in case you you wanna go over it and see by your own. And now we're going to go over the, the, the quiz. Okay, there's a quiz. Okay, now... It tells us about, well, actually, in the script, we say that we have George and Crystal, right? And in the quiz, we have she and he, I think, right? So he, right? So we know that Crystal and the other person is George. Okay, now, in the question number one, you are going to tell me what is the best option, never or always. You know, never, never is the opposite of always and vice versa, right? So... In the listening, she the, the person said uh, Crystal said that she used to what always check her email or never checks her email. She used to check her email or she used to always check her email or she used to never check her email. Always or never, people. Always. 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 Ah, she does it always. Crystal had a problem at her work or at, at home? Work. She had a problem at? Work. At work. Now, uh, George says that he almost never <laughs> replies to Take people. Uh, uh, she okay. almost never. Okay, let's see. Hey, what's going on in here? So in the number one, never, right? So what's the opposite? She used to she used to never check her email. That's why she faced the problem, right? And she had a problem on her. What's at her house, right? And she says that she no, he says that he almost never replies to people. And now we will see. Now yes, right? So if you go back, if you go back to the exercise, you will see now contrast and compare the sentences. Okay, by your own. Okay, and do the favor to see the information again. Now, second part, listen carefully, and we're, we're gonna go, we're gonna work in our, our speaking tonight. Okay, I already introduced the um, the topic for tonight. Now it's gonna be time to go over an activity that I have over here. So it's between John. I have a conversation over here. I have Anne and John. John and Anne. All right. So and I have a conversation, and now here it says, "How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well." I try to to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? 
Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to, to have contact with them all the time. You are right. So, well, what are we going to do? Lo voy a, lo voy a poner a trabajar en parejas. Okay. Y van a invertir 15 minutos en aprendérselo de memoria. Okay. De memoria. Y además de eso, lo van a tratar de pronunciar utilizando entonación correcta de preguntas, ¿ok? Y signos de, admira de admiración. Ah, si usted le quiere incluir más, está bien, pero no le puede quitar a la conversación, ¿ok? O si le quiere cambiar algo, está bien, cámbienle la información si quieren, pero no le cambien, no le quiten este, como, como, como participaciones. Ok, ¿cuánto tiempo vamos a tener para memorizar? Para memorizar. ¿Qué vamos a memorizar? Hey, how often do you check your email? Pronunciación, entonación y palabras. Además de eso, quiero fluidez. Ok, necesito que, que trabajemos nuestro speaking esta noche. No quiero que cuando regresemos, después de esos 15 minutos, ven, vengamos y hagamos. How often do, no, how often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Okay, so kind of, okay, so a little bit fast. Okay, con fluidez. All right. So the information is in the page number 19. And now you're going to have exactly 15 minutes. Va a tener 15 minutos exactos para eh, trabajar en ello. Página. 19. Después de esos 15 minutos, automáticamente yo voy a decir eh, participantes que, que nos lo van a presentar. ¿Ok? No más de 15 minutos, no más de 15 minutos, chicos. ¿Ok? Van a ser exactos esos minutos. Ok, let me see. Bueno, voy a ponerlos mejor a trabajar en, en grupos de tren, pues en, en caso eh, alguien no pueda... Este, Tenga algún problema de, de técnico. Ok, here we go. So remember, se, recuérdense cómo inicia la sesión, ok. Una vez solo leyendo, otra vez escuchamos entonación, pronunciación, ya luego vimos el video, vimos que era mejor el, 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 el video. Y que ahora queremos practicar. Ah, bueno, tienen otra opción. Si quieren hacer la conversación, la anterior, pues, pues pueden hacerla. Es lo que va a estar más difícil memorizar. Give me a second, please. No, yes. So we have 15 people. All right, so it will be really nice. Okay, so let us see. Hope to see you soon. 15 minutes exactly. Okay, here we go. Claudia, any problem? Claudia, can you listen to me, Claudia? Veralise?
Hello, Vera Liz, any problem? Hey, if you have any doubt, si tienen alguna pregunta con, con pronunciación, acuérdense, pueden usar eh, la web, pueden usar internet, pueden usar el, el traductor. Ok, teacher. Estamos aprendiendo y después lo vamos a practicar. Ok. Me vienen quedando 10 minutos, 10 minutos. No, pero... Okay, you have 10 minutes more. Okay, so try to get concentrated. How often do you call? Creo que tiene que no ver. Ah, how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week, on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always I call them first things in the morning. I believe in the importance. To have contact with things I'll tighten. You are right. I always call the first thing in the morning. I feel it's important to have contact with the all the time. You are right. Okay. Eh, teacher, ¿cómo sería aquí? Hello. You are right. You're right. No, este, vaya, sería, 
call Austin or como? How often? Austin. How often? How often? How often? How often? How often? How often? Okay. Bueno. Veamos otra vez, Norma. How often do you check your mail? Every two or are you? Well, I. Aquí cómo sería? I three or how? You have five minutes. More people. Five minutes. I know. Well, I could check. Is a. Sí, cabal. Entonces empecemos nuevamente. How how often do you check your your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. How and how often do you call your clients? I often I often call them once a week on Monday, but you but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes. I always call them first night in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Ay, ya vamos mejorando. Démosle <laughs> nuevamente. Sí, claro. How often do you check your, your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call, call them once a week on Monday, but I uh, usually call them on Friday to check their order. You call clients? Yes, I always call them. Calls, I make you okay. Yes, yeah, the call yes, no problem. Uh, yes, I always call the first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Otra vez, Aníbal. <laughs> How often do you check your, your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to chat as uh, often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week, a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes. I always call the first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them, with them all the time. You're right. Otra vez, Aníbal. <laughs> you still have three, two or th three minutes. You have three minutes more. Hey, how do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it, check it, check it. Check it. Yeah, check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday. But I usually call them on Friday to check the order. Do you call clients? Yes. Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Okay. So, you okay. have two minutes more. Creo que todavía alcanzan a practicarlo una vez más. De memoria. All right. <laughs> Lo estamos intentando. Teacher, es difícil memoria. <laughs> Vaya, animal, otra vez. Okay. How often do you check your...
All right, how was it? Okay, people are just getting back. Okay, six people, let us wait a little bit. Well, I can see that you are more than ready. I can I noticed that you are more than ready to perform the conversation with uh, the necessity with without the necessity of reading the information, right? So um I I let me see, I only have 12 people. Well, I don't know what happened if there are some people who have problems with con connection problems. So I'll, I'll, I will I will check over and miss I think. Now, yes, people are just coming back. I don't know, but every single time I, I work with, with the groups, I don't know why, but almost, almost always, or so very, very frequently, we face problems with the groups. So I don't know why. Well, but fortunately, we we took advantage of the, of the time. Well, we were like practicing. We were like practicing. Um, we were like practicing the the conversation. I saw you. You were very uh, concentrated. I saw some people who were like praying. <laughs> you know, they were pray. You know, they were pray. What's the meaning of the word uh, pray? You know, you know that verb, right? What's the meaning of that verb? <laughs> I saw some of you like you were like like praying. Vi algunos que estaban como rezando por ahí, pero no, es que se estaban memorizando la conversación. Hey, los vi muy concentrados, me encantó, la verdad, y este, sé que están muy preparados. No se preocupen que yo como estudiante ya pasé por esa etapa, ya anduve en las calles, ya anduve rezando solito. La gente solo me quedaba viendo, que pensaban que algo me pasaba, ¿no? Yo hablaba solo en las calles cuando yo empecé en el inglés. Así que pues, no les digo que ustedes lo hagan porque pues, fue algo muy, muy personal y la verdad pues la gente solo se le queda viendo a uno cuando uno está repitiendo y escuchándose a uno mismo, ¿verdad? Porque como en realidad hay estrategias para practicar, especialmente en el país que no tenemos como muchos norteamericanos a, por el momento que nos visitan y, y no podemos como practicarlo muy frecuentemente con ellos. Así que, ok, so... I will check the groups. Aquí, aquí, espérame, ya les digo quiénes, quiénes van a participar, el orden en que vamos. Ok, me voy a estar fijando que no estén viendo para abajo, para un lado, ni para el otro. Porque eso me va a indicar a mí que no están leyendo la información. Ok, Aníbal, Gladys, en ver a Liz. Ok. Okay, so let us try it, Aníbal. Let us try it. How often do you check your email? Every two hours in you? Well, I try to check this as often as I can. How, and how often do you call your clients? I often call for the ones a uh, week on Monday, but uh, usually for the on Friday to check the order, do you, do you call client? Yes, I always call the first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with the top and the time. You're right. Finish. Yes. Fantastic. Hey, now listen, congrats because I saw you. Ustedes saben que yo me meto por allá a los grupos a observar, a escuchar eh, cómo trabajan y pues la verdad yo los vi muy concentrados, practicando, 
muy en, muy en la actividad, eso me encantó. Y si ustedes se fijan en la pronunciación, muy, bien, muy, muy bien. So, solo quiero ver que, algo que note por ahí, que es our, parece que dice la conversación, our, ¿ok? Es en our, let me see, voy a chequear, que no me acuerdo qué palabra es. Ya, yeah, hours. Ok, every two hours. Ya. Yeah. Thank you very much. So that was quite good. That was quite good, people. Number two, Jonathan and Ronan. Uh, is Ronan in the group? Yeah, Ronan is over here. So is everything all right? Mm. Hello. Um, también soy malo para memorizar, pero. Okay, so let, let... Con Ronan creo que no conectamos eh, en el momento, pero creo que estamos bien si él cualquiera puede ser o John o Ann. Oh, okay, no, no so... okay, Ronan, you start. Ronan comienza entonces. Okay, Ronan, Ronan, let me know if, you, if it is possible for you to participate now. Okay, uh, why don't, don't you help Jonathan, um, Gladys, why don't you help Jonathan? Let me see, it's because I can see that Ronan, ah, yeah. Ronan is just driving. I think it's getting back home. So para Jonathan, para, para Ronan es difícil ahorita. Va de camino a casa. So Gladys, help Jonathan, please. You start, Jonathan. Okay. Okay. Um, I start. Um, how often do you check your email? Every two hours. No, hours. And you? Well, um, I try to uh to shave it as often as i can how how often do you call your clients i often call the once a week on monday but i usually call them on friday to check the order do you call clients yes i always uh, call them first thing in the morning i believe um it is important to have contact with them all the time you're right okay fantastic hey you really miss me me sorprende verdad que wow me quito el sombrero number you. yeah you're improving ya se dieron cuenta están mejorando no mejorando, sino están, están avanzando. No voy a decir mejorando, están avanzando. Porque en inglés este, siempre se avanza. Let me see. Berenice's group, Aidan, en Belén. Yo les pregunté y les dije en el grupo que no podía abrir. Eh, la el link no me daba... No pude abrir, no podía abrir la conversación y les escribí a ellos en el grupo y no me contestaron tampoco. Uh, okay. Did you practice, Berenice? ¿Practicó usted solita? Es que no podía ver el, el documento donde está. No me abría. Ah, uh, ok. Me está dando issues ahorita. Uh, lo, el, no puedo verlo. Ok, Berenice. That, there's no any problem. Ok, so, so, but be ready yes. because we don't know if tomorrow we're going to continue with this. No sabemos si mañana vamos a continuar con esto de la conversación memorizada. Okay. okay, so what about Belén and Berenice? Are you ready? Uh, uh, sorry, Berenice, no. Uh, Aidan and, and Belén. Okay, la disculpa primeramente con Berenice, no le... Bueno, no escuché, tampoco vi ahí en el chat, no me fijé sinceramente. Sí, son Las dificultades de, de Zoom, algunas veces Zoom nos no da problemas. Okay, sí, las disculpas del caso, Berenice. Okay, Aidan. Ok. Eh, ¿Con quién sería? Oh, Belén, Belén is just getting back home. Va, va de camino a casa, va manejando. 
So Aidan and Jonathan. Okay. okay. Uh, Aidan, you start. Okay. How often do you check your email? Sorry, I my microphone is off, but I won. <laughs> um every two hours and you? Well, I try to check it as often uh, as I can. I show, and how often do you call your clients? Um, I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday um, to check their order, order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first, first thing in the morning. I believe it, it is important to have contact with them all the time. You're right. Thank you. Thank you, Aidan. Thank you, Jonathan. That was fantastic. Yeah. All right. So, Una consulta. tell me, Aidan. Sí, sí. Eh, la palabra importante. Important. La estuve, eh, estuve buscando allí. Eh, se escuchaba como important. Algo yeah, así. important. Impor important. 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 Ah, okay. okay, so you can, you, you, yeah, it's all right. Impo it's important. It is important. Okay, so it's okay. Jonathan. Okay. Eda, and you. now listen carefully. Se van a mantener practicando esa conversación de tal modo que mañana yo voy a elegir solo unas dos parejas que nos lo digan super so con con más fluidez. Necesito que haya más fluidez. Let's see. Uh, then we have uh, Claudia, Edgar, and Oscar. Go ahead. Hi. Hi, are you ready? Oscar, uh, we cannot listen to you. Do me the favor to open your microphone. Uh, hola, hola. Now, yes, we can listen to Me you perfectly. Oh, okay. Yeah, now, yes. So go ahead, okay. please, Oscar. Si gusta, empieza usted, Claudia. Okay, Claudia, you start. Okay, hi. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? I think I do. Why do you check it out in kind? And how often do you call your client? It's often. Kelting once with on Monday, but usually Kelting or Friday to check your order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, finish. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And we finally have Mario and Norma, right? Mario and Norma. Is Norma over here? Yeah, Norma and Mario. Mario and Norma. Can you listen to me? Okay, okay. All right, so here we go. Yes. Uh, how often do you check your mail? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check you know, as often as I am can. And you also do you call your client? I often call them us uh, with on the Monday. On the Monday. But usually think on Friday to check the order. Do you plan? Yes, I always can call the same first thing in the morning. I believe in it's important to have contact while they are the time. 
You are right. You are right. Very good, people. That's fantastic. All right. So now listen, we spend like like exactly like 30 minutes. Hemos, hemos in, invertido 30 minutos in our speaking. No se queda ahí el asunto porque en lugar de en lugar de y ahorita le voy a decir que tuve una mejor idea porque let me see. Let me see. Let me see. So, no le voy a pedir que, que se memoricen nada, pero sí le voy a pedir que practiquen esta conversación. ¿Ok? Esta conversación. Para el día de mañana. ¿Ok? Si se la quieren memorizar, it's up to you. Depende de ustedes. Si no se la quieren memorizar, ¿ok? Necesito que lo digan de la manera más natural posible y bien pronunciada. ¿Ok? So this is for tomorrow. Eso es para, para el día de mañana. Eso es lo primerito con lo que voy a iniciar la clase mañana. Y que nos mande el link, porfa. Sí, ahorita. El WhatsApp, si no lo tengo activado ahorita, por si alguien no lo puede este, tomar de acá del chat, pues más noche lo, lo, lo comparto en el WhatsApp. Ok. So... Let me see, this is over, this is over, All right? So now, yes, we are over here, right? So how often? Now, time to go, give me a second, because, well, I need to go over uh, something over here that's quite important, okay? So I we are ready. Now, can you listen to me, people, clearly? Do you listen to me clearly, people? Yes. Yes, all right, so. Hey, we're going to go over the topic for tonight that's about frequency advert. Okay? Do you see the information? What is the topic? Frequency advert. Frequency okay. advert. In this case, we're going to learn how to describe habits and routines. Something that we have been studying lately, right? About simple, simple present tense. Okay? But over here, we're going to get some info, extra information about uh, or to talk about how frequently we do activities, daily activities or habits. Now, oops, did you study these when you were in basic one? Because I remember I explained this. I don't know if you remember about uh, the 100%, uh, 0%. Now, the frequency depends on that, right? So. What is the hundred percent, people? What is the number one? What is what is something that you that you do all the time? Usually, never, sometimes, often, rarely, or always. Always. Always, always is this is the ten percent, right? What is what would be the second one? Usually, never, usually. sometimes, or usually. Usually, pretty good. We have always 100%, usually maybe like 80%. Now, what would be in the third place? Often. Often or sometimes. So we're gonna see. Often is the number three. First, always. Second, usually. Third, often. Number four. Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes. pretty good. So 100%. Always, you do that activity all the time. Then you usually do the activity, you often do the activity, you sometimes do the activity, and then we have two more. We have never and, and rarely. Rarely. Rarely, and the last one? Never. 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 Okay, so do me a favor. Take a picture, please. Tomen la foto y ya luego lo trabajan en su documento, okay? We'll Necesito que, que visualizarlo en, en, en el documento que ustedes eh, llevan. Okay. Usually, never, sometimes, often, rarely, always. Now, everybody, do me the favor to repeat. Always. <clears throat> always. 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 Usually. Usually. Often. Often. Sometimes. <clears throat> rarely. <clears throat> never. 
Yeah. Now, did you take the picture? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So share it in the group, please. Share it in the group so that everybody has it. Now, he always studies after dinner. Now, read the second one, people. Frank. Frank was never late for his class. Thank you. Now, somebody else. Huh? Franco is never late for this class. Okay, and this one? The weather not very good. It often rains. It often rains. Very good. The other one? They are usually ready for the exam. But right. today we have too much to do. Excellent, pretty good. Now he always studies after dinner. The weather here is not very good. It often rains. Franco is never late for his class, and we are usually ready for exams today. But today we had too much to do. Now, what is the purpose? Now you, we can see the frequency address over here, and also do me Se recuerda que vimos como el orden de cómo construir oraciones. Si se recuerdan que en la, en la semana anterior estuvimos ahí manchando una oración que decía subject y de ahí que seguía y de ahí que seguía y de ahí que seguía y de ahí de modo que despedazamos la oración. Se van a dar cuenta que eso tiene un orden. Ok, so we're gonna see. Now. Ok. We are usually ready for exams. But today we had too much to do. Franco is never late for his class. So what's what's going on over here, people? As you can see, what is this? What is it? What 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 is this, people? This about when you see this, what comes to your mind? Cuando miren estas tres expresiones, ¿qué se le viene a la mente? Verbo. El, el ah, verbo, el verbo be. be. All right. So this is the verb to be, right? So in the verb to be, as you can see, what do we have just after the verb to be? After the verb to be, we are going to have the frequency adverb. Okay, so keep it in mind. We are usually ready. We usually are ready. No, it's it's very to say we are usually ready. So you will see. After you see the verb to be, you are going to include the auxiliary. He always studies. So what do you see in the second one? What do you see in the second one, people? We have the subject. What do we have after the subject? What do, what do we have after the subject? The frequency advert. And what do we have after the frequency advert? Hello, hello. Let me see. Pasado, teacher. Huh? So, do me the favor. Pass is past. No, no. I mean, this is simple present. We are still starting simple present. Todo eso está en presente simple. Okay? El verbo vi está en presente. Mira. Este verbo en qué está, en qué tiempo está entonces? Presente simple también. Ok, está, está conjugado en tercera persona. Third person singular, simple present, right? So, but what really matters to me is that you see the subject, after the subject, the, the frequency adverb, then you have the verb. 
Okay. Then algebra class usually usually starts. So you see, usually is or the frequency alber is just before, before. Uh, you know, in the verb to be is after the verb to be, but in the in the other one you will see is before after the verb to be before the verb because it says all the verbs right so what you need to say is that after the verb if you are going to study if you're going to go over uh, or if you are going to use the the frequency adverb remember that if you have the verb to be the frequency adverb is just after the verb to be but if you are using all the verbs, no matter the other verbs, but it says all the verbs, then you are going to use the 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 frequency adverb before the verb. Before the verb. In this case, it's study. In this case, it starts. In this in this case, it it is rains. rains. Okay. So it's just before, before, ah. and before. Okay. Questions. No questions. Viene siendo como tercera persona, teacher. Uh, well, when you see over here, it's, this is the verb to be in third person, right? Remember that when, when we talk about third person, we say he, we say she, and we say it. Esto es tercera persona. Okay. Now, Franco, third person singular, yes or no? He, Franco is he, okay? He is never late for his class, okay? We may say Anna, we may say uh, the dog, okay, etc. Okay, so but what really matters to me is that it, uh, and over here we also have the third it's person funny. singular, right? En, 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 es que podemos tener tercera persona con el verbo be, con o con cualquier otro verbo, ¿ok? Ok, eso es tercera persona, he, she, it. Lo, el verbo to be puede ser conjugado con esas tres personas, y cualquier otro verbo también. En este caso, study, starts, and rains. Pero en este caso, it rains. He rains, no. <laughs> ¿Ok? So, let's see. Now, I always help the other students. I always. So where is the subject? Brother. Subject? Brother. I. I. The verb? Help. 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 Si no es el verbo be, ya sabemos que ese tiene que ir. Que always tiene que ir antes que el verbo. Okay, como no es el verbo be, my brother okay. usually comes. My oh. brother is the subject. The verb comes. Usually come late. And the and the frequency adverb usually. Jenny and Susan. Subject, Jenny and Susan, and the verb study. Frequency adverb often, and that's it. Right? So that's the order, people. That is the order. Now, what about the verb to be? As you can see, the verb to be is different, right? Because uh, the what is the subject over here? Yeah. I. What is the verb? What is the verb? Um. Um, right? What is the what is the frequency adverb? Always. 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 So you see, it's just after the verb to be. Aquí está, aquí está al revés, miren. Cuando tenemos el verbo be, siempre vamos a poner el frequency adverb después de el mismo. My brother is the subject. Then we have the verb to be. And then we have the frequency adverb. Jenny and Susan is the subject. The verb to be. And after the verb to be, we have frequency adverb and and that is that is the order all right so let us go over some examples over here now the favor 
Okay, we are gonna we're gonna work over. Let me see about the time. Well, you're gonna work over these exercises only. Vamos a trabajar en estos ejercicios. Yeah? Two, four, six, eight. Okay, so you're gonna have uh, eight minutes. Ocho minutos para trabajar en esto y luego vamos con otros ejercicios, okay? En su documento Word, por favor. Ya luego algunos de ustedes me van a mostrar los ejercicios. So you have eight minutes now, people. Eight minutes.
Uh, did you finish, people? So what will be the, the first sentence? No. Did you finish? No, you're still working, right? So take two minutes more. Tómese dos minutos más, okay? Cuando termine esos dos minutos, voy a pedirle a algún, algunos que nos compartan el documento. All right, now yes, right? So do me the favor, let me see. Uh, can somebody help me with this one? Oh my goodness. Well, the actually, let me see. Now let me see. Uh, uh, Jonathan, can you please share your, your document? Um, and todas. Yeah, please, um, Jonathan. Um, bueno, no sé si estoy eh, equivocado. O, o las envío o las, las puedo leer. Uh, but uh, you are working. Yeah, it's better if you if you read it. Veo que está trabajando en cuaderno, un cuaderno, verdad? Sí, sí. Okay, Jonathan, léalas, por favor. Mm, bueno, eh, no sé si estoy equivocado porque realmente no. Bueno, acabo de nuevamente porque tenía un asunto acá. Eh, pero bueno, la primera. Eh, my brother usually does my homework. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, you are late often to class or no? Sarah. I creo que estoy equivocado, así que no sé. Um, 
ماشي Okay, it's all right. So, Aidan, do me the do me the favor to read the way you have number one. No sé si puedo proyectarlos. Yeah, it's okay. Eh. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, please. Okay. No sé si se logra ver. Yeah, we can see it perfectly. Okay. Esa manera la he colocado, my brother, that's usually my homeboy, 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 yeah. De igual manera, no sé si las leo todas. Yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, you, you are late often to class, Sarah is rarely on time to class, your friends usually to go to movies on Saturday. My English class often start a little bit late. Elizabeth is a sometimes good student. University students never go to parties of Saturday night. Jason is usually flyer with girl. Okay, so in the number one, what do you remember about about the explanation? Kim me dice está bien, o hay que hay que hay que corregir algo. Bueno, vamos a hacer algo. Voy a compartir las respuestas. Okay. Okay. Y ustedes las van comparando y las van corrigiendo. Les voy a las voy a mostrar durante cinco minutos para que ustedes chequen lo que han hecho. Okay. Y corrijan en caso haya necesidad de hacerlo. Okay, here we go. Okay. Number one. Number one. Did you get it? My brother. Remember subject, verb, and just before the verb, you have the frequency adverb. Number two, subject, Jack. This is the same person, right? Jack, two, the verb to be. After the verb to be, you have the frequency adverb. Number three, Sarah is a subject. You have the verb to be, and after the verb to be, you have the frequency adverb. After the verb to be, you have to use frequency adverb. All the verbs just before. They, they, you place the the frequency other before the verb. Number four, your friends, subject. Then you have the frequency other before the verb call. Number five. It's number five, okay? My English class, the person, right? This is the subject. This is the verb, and after the verb, I mean, the, before the verb, you have frequency adverb. Number six, subject, verb to be, and this is different, right? Because after the verb to be, you need to use frequency adverb. Number seven, University students, the subject, this is the verb. And before the verb, other, but the verb to be, you need to include frequency of number eight. Jason, subject, the verb, uh, 
after the verb, the frequency album. How was it? Any questions about the, the, the exercise? No questions? Aidan, Aníbal, Norma, Gladys, Jonathan, Berenice, Edgar, Oscar, Claudia, Veraliz, Daniel. No Solo questions? Tell no me, question. please. No. Tell, tell me. En la primera, ¿por qué primer... Primero va el frequency, frequency y después va el das. Ah, okay, in the first one. Sí. No. Let us, vamos a analizarla. ¿Qué es esto? Sujeto. Sujeto. Después del sujeto, ¿qué sigue? El verbo. No, es, la este no es verbo. Es el, el adverbio, adverbio de frecuencia. Vaya, ahora, antes, no, ok, después del, del adverbio, ¿qué sigue? El verbo. El verbo. Ah, es un el verbo. verbo. Ok, mm. es un verbo. Después de esto sigue el complemento. Ok, so, wh why do, do we analyze it this way? ¿Por qué lo analizamos de esta manera? Porque... Según las reglas que vimos ahora, sigamos, tenemos el verbo be y tenemos otro verbo, cualquier otro, o de verb. Y tenemos cualquier otro verbo. ¿A dónde iría el frequency adverb con el be? Aquí. O aquí. ¿En el 1 o en el 2? ¿En qué lugar tendría que ir? En el 2. Ah, ok. Pretty good. Entonces. Tendría que ir ahí. Now. Ahora, si tenemos cualquier otro verbo, cualquier otro. Y en el B ya vimos dónde tiene que ir. Cualquier otro. ¿A dónde tiene que ir el frequency adverb? ¿En el 1 o en el 2? ¿En qué lugar? En el 1. El number 1. Pretty good. Ok, so we delete this part. Ok. Now, in the exercise number 1, en el ejercicio 1, ¿qué tipo de verbo tenemos? El verbo B. No, no. Deja, deja, deja auxiliar. No. no, no, it's a main verb, right? Es un verbo. Es un verbo, cualquier otro menos el verbo B. Entonces, el lugar que le corresponde a la, al, al adverbio de frecuencia es este. All right? Mm -hmm. Is it clear? Yes. Yeah, okay, so any other question? No more questions? Okay, so if you don't have any question, then I will stop sharing this. Okay, now yes, right? We got into the conversation. We started it. Now, what is the expression that we we used to 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 talk about the frequency of an activity? How often, right? Hey, how often do you check your email? How often do you drink your uh, coffee? How often do you take a shower? How often do you get up early? How often uh, do you go to bed late? How often? How often? And how often? Okay. 
And in order to use, uh, in order in order to answer, then you can use a frequency adversary, just always, usually, seldom, rarely, etc. Right. So this is a conversation you learn by heart. Now I will read it. So and then we're gonna answer these two questions that we're gonna go over uh, more information about uh, frequency adverse. Okay. Now conversation goes like this: How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. How often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week, Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check the order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it's important to have contact with them all the time. You're right. Now, question, how often does Anna check her email? How often? Hello, hello. Every two hours. Every two hours, right? So. It may be like this. So it may be like every two hours. She checks. She checks her email every two hours. So what is this every two hours? That's a frequency advert or what is that, people? Is it a frequency advert? No, but there is a time expression, right? Time expression. How often? Well, uh, every day, uh, every two hours. Every no. day or every two hours. It doesn't say if he, if he answers or if he checks her email daily, right? But it says every two hours. It, it is supposed to do it always. She checks her email, she always. Now, if we want to include the frequency advert, ¿a dónde tendría que ir el, el frequency advert? Si ponemos eh, always. Si yo le incluyo always, ¿a dónde tendría que ir always? She always checks her She always, so always needed to be over here, right? She always checks. Very good. Now, number two. Why is it important to check the email every day? Why? Um, he believe, believe it's important to have contact with them all the time. Because. Because. Uh, uh, because. She believes, good. She believes. Um, sí, um, porque she es John que cree. Um. Yeah, let me see. She believes it's important to have contact, right? Oh. Yeah. With clients, right? Clients. Yeah, I think it's talking about clients. Because it's important to have contact with clients because it's important to have Why contact with clients. All right. Because you believe. All right, so that's that's the answer, all right? So now let us get some review. Vamos a hacer un poco de repaso de lo que hemos estudiado esta noche. All right? So as you can see over here, there is a there is a chart, right? Where you can see, okay, the frequency, okay, 
80%. Ah, let us try to practice numbers. Yo dije que vamos a practicar los números, ¿ok? Ayúdenme a leer, por favor. Hello? Hello, hello? Anybody in the group, please? Hello, hello. Ok, now read, read, read the frequency, please. 100%. 90 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 90% 
Thank you. Jonathan? Present teacher. Good. Uh, Maria Elba? Hello, Mary. Uh, Mario Cristobal. Present teacher. Thank you. Berenice. I'm here. Thank you. Michael. Noé. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Norma Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Antonio. Present teacher. All right. Ronan. Teresa. En Veraliz. Present teacher. Thank you. Dina and, and maybe. Let me see. We check the chat. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Belen, Ronan. There is, as I hear, you said it's, it's been raining. All right, I think so. Well, let's get back to what we started. And I will listen to you people. Okay, I will listen to Aniva. Okay, Aniva, let's know about, about this info. Tell me about something that you always do, and and I mean, try to use the frequency adder, right? Simple present and frequency adder. This is what I want you to to use. I have a three. Okay. I, I always take a shower at, uh, at four o'clock. Uh, okay. I often go, go, go to the school. Okay. She, she sometimes have, have a dinner. So let's have three and I'll have a sandwich. Okay, she, she sometimes, you say she sometimes, right? She, some, she sometimes. You say she sometimes. <laughs> no, you say I. Okay, now listen carefully. If you already finished with this, if you say, I always take a shower at five. Hey, todos los días tomo un baño a las cinco. Okay, ahora. Ahí viene otro reto. Para el día de mañana, si no lo logramos ahora, porque el tiempo ya no nos va a dar. Si yo digo, por ejemplo, yo todos los días tomo un baño a las cinco. Okay, I always take a shower at five. Nos tienen que decir la razón de por qué toman el baño a esa hora. ¿Ok? Because, like, por ejemplo, imaginemos, voy a, voy a inventar un poquito. I always take a shower at 5 a.m. because I have to go to the university. I get to the university at 7 and I start my classes at 7.30. ¿Ok? Ahí está ya la razón. ¿Ok? Often, sometimes, early, ever, and never. ¿Ok? Hay que... Hay que Hay que dar una razón del por qué hacemos ciertas actividades en ciertas, eh, a cierta frecuencia. Ok, thank you, Aníbal. Claudia. So I think Claudia is driving. Daniel? 
Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, okay, so let us listen to Claudia. Claudia, are you ready? Hey. My Claudia? family always thanks God. My children often God men. Finish. <laughs> okay, only two. So remember, for tomorrow, para mañana, hay que, hay que hacer todas las oraciones y proveer el porqué. Okay. Thank, thank you, Claudia. Daniel? Okay. okay. I always go to my work early. I often have breakfast at work. I sometimes go to the mall at noon. I hardly ever overtime. I never finish before work day at 6 p.m. Thank you very much. Remember, Daniel, for tomorrow you have a challenge. Okay. Okay, Jonathan. Hello, teacher. Hello, Jonathan. I have three. All right. Um, I always drive to my work. And I often arrive before the end of time. I sometimes have breakfast at work. Thank you very much. Thank you, okay. thank you. Then I have Aidan. Hello. Hello, hello. Solo, voy a hacer solamente dos. Okay. Estoy tratando de buscar el porqué. Yeah. Eh, always. I always go to the church on Saturday. Eh, I never go to the discotheque. Okay. Yes, only. Only those. Okay. So remember, humble for tomorrow. Okay. Okay. So let me see. Tipo. Okay, Ronna. Okay, Oscar. So let me know if you're ready. So let's try with Veralis. Veralis, can you please read the information you got? Yeah. Thank you. And always, uh, I am always get up at six o'clock. I often have breakfast in my home. I sometimes sleep early at night. I hardly ever drink milk in the breakfast. I never eat seafood. You never eat seafood. All right. Thank you very good. Now, what about if uh, if I do this, people? Ustedes me van a decir si está correcto o si no está correcto, me van a decir por qué. Yo voy a escribir, que ver con, con never, vamos a escribir. Bueno. No pongo otra, está bien. Now. All right, correct or incorrect, and why? Está correcta mi oración que me acabo de, de inventar. Just tell me, cor correct or incorrect? Incorrect. 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 Some people say correct. Uno dice que está bien y otros dicen que está mal. Ok, vamos a ver cómo salimos de esto. Y aclaramos. Now, what is this? Subject. What, subject. Subject. what is this? Verb. Verb. Verb to be. What is this? Verb to be. Frequency adverb. Frequency adverb. What is this? Verb. Verb. What is this? Complete. Now, Compliment. si tengo, podemos tener dos verbos, people.
creería yo, teacher, que el go eh, está como auxiliar. Ah, ok. So, listen carefully. Eh, auxiliaries, hasta el momento hemos estudiado. Do. Y das. Ok. Fíjense que este, este, esta observación es frecuente. Es muy frecuente. Algunos tienden como, como a, a confundir o como a usar doble verbo. Ajá. Entonces, si el verbo que yo quiero usar es go, yo a menudo voy. Porque si yo lo leo en español, yo estoy o yo soy o yo uh, tengo, a menudo voy. Ok, eso ya, ya, no, ya no, ya no me encaja acá. ¿Por qué? Porque el verbo es este. Es go. Yo a menudo voy al cine. ¿Ok? No, but they listen. So what's quite good. Uh -huh. Ok, so. Any question about it, people? Preguntas acerca de esta noche? No question. No questions, no comments, no observations, no doubts, no... Ah, ey, 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 se me olvidó el inicio que ustedes dijeron que, que nos iban a compartir las frases célebres. Que dijeron que nos iban a traer a la... A la... Todavía tenemos unos dos minutos que me gustaría que escucharlos. Y se me olvidó, no sé por qué me escapó de que yo dije que íbamos a iniciar con eso este día. Ok. Motivational quotes. Frases que nos motiven acá. ¿Quién se las aprendió? ¿O quién las investigó? ¿No? Hey, for tomorrow you have Daniel. You have some, Daniel. Tomorrow. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's going to be for tomorrow. Okay, for so tomorrow. for tomorrow we're going to listen to some uh, motivational quotes. Okay, so but try to memorize them, people. Try to memorize them. Because when you memorize, okay. somehow you, you, get, you get some info, okay? Algunas personas dicen que no es muy bueno memorizar, otras dicen que sí. Pues según mi... A la propia experiencia, algunas veces es bueno memorizar. No siempre. Si ustedes se dan cuenta, ya hay, esta es nuestra segunda semana, nunca les había pedido que memorizaran. Pero esta vez tocó. ¿Okay? Y si a ustedes les funciona esa estrategia, síganlo haciendo. O sea, cada quien aprende de manera diferente. Si a usted le funciona memorizar, hágalo porque memoriza pronunciación, palabras, cómo se escriben, oraciones. Te atrae beneficios. Yo, por ejemplo, cuando estudiaba eh, en inglés casi nunca, pues casi raras veces memorizaba, pero sí hubieron algunas veces que sí memorizaba. Pero cuando estuve en clases de francés, sí memoricé mucho. Yo, me, yo puedo conversaciones completas en francés, pero porque en el docente que Uy. nosotros teníamos, nos, nos, o sea, él tenía como esa técnica que nos pedía que pues a diario que nos memorizáramos una conversación y pues en realidad funciona porque pues esto fue hace que hace como unos 10 años y todavía me recuerdo de algunas conversaciones <ríe> así que sí funciona eh, lo veo mañana okay. ok llevan tarea llevan tarea mañana venimos con otro tema pero recuérdense que nuestras clases son entonces vamos, vamos reciclando, vamos renovando, vamos proyectando a futuro. Depende cómo vaya el ritmo del grupo, ¿ok? De hecho, yo veo que el grupo camina súper bien. Hacen muy bien su, su, su trabajo como participantes. Y solo sí les voy a pedir que eh, veo que sí están participando más, pero algunas veces siento que como que me quedo yo solo en clase. Entonces, cuando yo solicito que, por favor, alguien lea, me ayudan. O sea, yo no estoy, se ve que yo estoy para, para ayudar. Pero si ustedes se fijan, a mí me encanta optimizar el tiempo. O sea, yo, yo necesito optimizar tiempo. Yo tengo una meta con ustedes. 
que eso lo, te, me han dado solo un mes para que ustedes obtengan lo mejor de este curso. Entonces, si yo me pongo, por ejemplo, a decir uno por uno y resulta que, pues, de los 18 que somos, pues, eh, que, que, que se me quedan, digamos, 10 calladitos. Entonces, yo cuando, para, cuando esté pidiendo uh, participación y este, en ese, ese tiempo ya no lo optimizamos. No es como que yo diga, ok, fulano de tal, eh, ayúdenos, por favor, o compártanos lo que ha hecho. Y ya automáticamente abren su micrófono y optimizamos bien. Eso se llama optimizar bien. ¿Ok? No importando, este, pues yo no sé qué, 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 si me salió bien, pues para eso es el ejercicio, para ver qué funcionó, qué no funcionó y cómo lo corregimos. ¿Ok? Así que pues espero verlos mañana. Los felicito por siempre por ser... Uh, por, por estar siempre acá en clases, ok, y hacer las cosas de la mejor manera. See you tomorrow, people. God bless you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye, good night. Good night. Good night.